I had watched her every day while I delved deeper into my book, and she deeper in her relationship. But as fate would have it, we would be brought together by story and love. A modern day Romeo and Juliet. But it was not her parents who stood in the way of our love, but instead her current companion, who is like an ivy drip of poison to her veins. You're right. I see you watching me, you know. No. Aren't you scared my boyfriend might catch you? I, I, I wasn't staring at you. Oh. So you don't like me? You must like my boyfriend then. No, I, I don't. I, I don't like him. So what? I'm ugly. No. I knew it. You were watching me. So what's your name? Romeo. Romeo. <laughs> you serious? <laughs> wow, I, uh, I never had you down as the Romeo type of guy. It's a nice name, though. I'm Lana. As I first heard the letters that formed the word to spell out her name, that I could from this point on in eternity match to her face, time slowed down. Every second was a minute, every minute was an hour, every hour a day. Days would be months, then years until one of us died and we were buried underground readying for the afterlife. But back to that moment, I knew her name. It was Lana. The fuck are you looking at, bench boy? It was as if they were magnets that had once attracted to each other and nothing could separate them, but had suddenly changed polarity by an unknown force. That force being me. Such a fucking asshole. <laughs> you fucked my friend and expects me to get over it like nothing happened. <sighs> no. 
Why do people cheat? I don't know. It's never happened to me before. What are you trying to say? Nothing. I, I mean, I've never had a girlfriend before. That's sweet. Look, I, uh, I've got to fix my face. I'll see you around sometime, yeah? Yeah, sure. The touch of her lips had left me for dead. I could no longer move. Externally, I was useless, not a single feeling. He could smash a brick over my head and I would remain as I were. But internally, something new had happened. Something I hadn't considered. It was the feeling of my heart cruising through like a battleship, traveling through my chest that was bubbling up with lava, barely making it through, scorned to hell. Then to be drowned as it reached my stomach, going through a sea storm rage that completely crushed my decks. I was in love. <laughs> oh, did I scare it's okay. you? I wasn't scared. <laughs> it's just to help me. Here you go. Oh, no, it's not okay. I think I'll take one, took out the packet. There's something kind of strange about you. <laughs> but in a good way. I like it. You're different. You're not like everyone else. Do you think I'm pretty? I had been damaged. He had also damaged my love. I think this is what they call being a hero. Saving the damsel in distress, but I hadn't saved her yet. I should rescue her. But then again, what if I get hurt again, or even worse? Perhaps I should leave them. No, no. I'm going to get up and be the David to this Goliath. I have to show my brawn, my dark side. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit him. I'm going to hit him. Really, really hard. In a strange way, I almost thank the thug who hit me. I don't know if I was the hero or her the heroine. But all that mattered was that we knew each other's names and we were together at this moment in time. He had brought us closer than I had ever imagined. Perhaps together we would become like everyone's favorite fictional couples, Clark Kent and Lois Lane, Ron and Hermione. If we were to become known, it would be thanks to her ex. We would be known as Lana and Bench Boy. <laughs>